Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about very interesting concept. Uh, we are going to write, we are going to understand how to do the form validation, how to show the validation message, how to do the validation of different types. Uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to create a custom input component. Okay. That custom input component should be able to pass, should be able to receive all different kind of props like what is the control type what is the input type is it a checkbox or input type or a select or drop down what is the error message and how we show the validity like what is the validity message uh, what is the acceptance criteria of that input text field so let's create a text input dot swell component here we are going to write a simple input type text field but here we are going to make conditions okay maybe our form element is input or a date picker or a drop down or a checkbox or a video button okay so this is a just a quick recap in the last video we talked about just a simple form how to bind the value so what we do is input type text bind value and then we start binding the the value we declare the variable okay it is a for email username password and we pass bind value password okay so here we are creating this custom dynamic component custom component so we will just pass the control type which can be input text area radio checkbox that that will be input type right because there is only a two different tags we are using select input or the text area right so based on control type we should be able to change okay this is input field this is the text area this is the drop down select okay and these are other props we are going to have id label rows for the text area uh, columns or uh, id label input type is there placeholder is there all these different props we are going to have the default props is the text export let validity i think there is a validity message so initially we are saying it is valid true and then we can say a validity message which we are going to show if you are not satisfying the validation criteria these are all the props uh, your custom input component is going to receive from wherever you are going to use it okay so here we can write the the conditional inputs and we can add the styles so the styles will be co co common the the main focus of the style is how to show the different behavior for the validity if the input field is valid invalid all these things so for the simple text area width height margin padding and for the simple input and then input has a different state input uh, valid text area valid input invalid text area invalid okay so let's uh, just add all the so here we are adding the invalid and the valid classes rest all are like form controls input focus text area focus all the other classes I mean I most of the in most of the projects I use tailwind so we don't need to worry about writing the styles we can use these utility uh, tailwind form classes which are more than enough we don't need to worry about uh, the border color the background color the text color and all these things just this is just for the demo for the invalid we will also put the background color and the border color red and a particular uh, background color which is light uh, red color now this is all about styling now this is the custom component here we are going to play with the control type based on the control type we are going to say okay this is the text area this is the input this is the select and then we'll start applying the classes okay so first of all the label for the form label will is receiving the id and uh, the label that, that is just a props of type string label and the id we are passing and then for the input type here we need to write the conditionals here we will check the control type based on the control type so for that we can just use if uh, expression if control type is of type is uh, triple equals text area then we'll do this else we will do with the input so this is else and then forward slash if so this is just a conditional expression this is how we write in the swell.js 
like if control type is text here use this block else use this block and here we are going to put all the conditions text area rows columns and the classes if the class is invalid now here we are writing custom component so class will be invalid when the property is invalid right the value uh, if it is valid is false then we have to add this class so this is Swelt JS dynamic class assignment so you can do class class name and then boolean expression if that expression becomes true that means the invalid class will get added to the text area and all the other we are just passing the id value the rows and uh, when you are changing when you are typing something in the text area we are going to call on input so we are not going to handle the on input here this is the uh, dom event forwarding we are going to handle this on input event in the parent component which is absolute here it is input type type is the type we are passing and the id value and we have a on input method here also the only difference here is there we were using text area tag here we are using input tag and here we can also check if there is an error so if uh, there is a validity message is there and if there is a invalid field means valid is false then we have to show the validity message if because we are passing it so we can just use p tag with the class validity error message so it can be shown in the red color and then we will just use we will just print validity message here and here we can we already have validity message so now what we can do i think this looks not 100% ready but we can start consuming this in our component here we will now import the and here we can just pass okay because i'm going to create a simple text field with the title so i have a title subtitle email username password whatever the value because this value he, he using these variables you are going to capture that and with every input control we are going to have the valid property title valid subtitle valid email valid username valid and initially that will be false and here we are going to use text input component and we are going to pass all the props okay what is the type what is the control type what is the id what is the validity message what is the the valid and what is the value property its title and here we have valid is equal to title valid and we are passing the valid uh, equal to validity message equal to some custom message please enter the title property this is the message if user is missing the entering the value and then value is the title okay uh, these are the the required props and on input we are going to just write the dom event in line how we do it we can just simply call title equal to event dot target dot value and we will be able to capture the value coming from this text input component because here we are handling the on input event and now we can see the field is there but it is showing initially red please enter title so what we are going to do is we are going to add some logic here because initially we don't want it to show this message so we have a simple we can track it by just using uh, on uh, by using touched property until unless you don't touch a field we should not show that uh, message we also need to keep track on what is the value of title if the title value is in well title value is there user has entered something that means the title value should become true and how we are going to track this we can write uh, either a custom function to check if the title is empty or having uh, character length greater than zero that becomes title is now valid okay so title valid should be assigned again title value will be updated every time whenever you are changing something in the title so we can use is empty function is empty function will just track okay if the the length of the string in this function is greater than zero if that is greater than zero that means it is not empty it's like string length check well dot uh, trim dot length if it is equal equal to zero that means it is empty and we have to use the negation sign so we can 
now this looks correct the only problem now we have is i haven't entered in anything inside the input text field but it is still showing please enter title so we have to use uh, touched property i think let's see where we can add it we can add on blur dom event in these text fields and we can have this touch property so we show this error message only when this input text field or text area has been touched by the user until then keep hiding this message and this touch property can be true on the own blur so whenever you do the on blur we update the touch to true so same we can copy for the input text field and text area both whenever user is typing something we will set touched property true and if it is true that means now it is the time to show the message if user haven't entered anything inside the text field and let's fix the compile this error we are using there is a error message we are using three and end operator now it will works fine if you are not entering anything and clicking outside then it should show the message it looks correct now this is what we wanted to achieve so this is the full fledged uh, custom component which is taking control types value validity valid property and emitting the on in event and on blur messages on blur tom events and updating the properties okay so similarly you can create the custom components and just change the type and control type and you can build the whole form with the custom validation logic.